Today I want to make a Wisconsin Old Fashioned, but to be honest, I never had or drank one in my entire life. And apparently, Wisconsinites can be pretty protective when it comes to their beloved Brandy Old Fashioned. So, because I don't want to offend anyone, I will ask an expert to help me. My friend Anders is from Wisconsin. He worked in bars in Wisconsin, I think. And even his grandpa used to stir his Wisconsin Old Fashioned with his finger. Probably wouldn't like me to call him an expert, but he knows more than I do about this drink, that's for sure. So, let's call him. And also, I don't want to trigger the internet for making this drink not correctly. You know how it works. Let's do it. Jean Felix is calling. Hello? What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Jean Felix? Not much. How you doing? Good. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. Um, question for you. You yeah. free for a few minutes? Yeah, there's a pandemic. I'm I'm free for months. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Yeah. I want to make the Wisconsin Old Fashioned on my channel. I never done that before, never had one. And um I know it can trigger some people when you don't do it the right way. So would you mind running me through the recipe so I can just make sure that internet doesn't get triggered if I do something wrong? I'd be happy to, absolutely. Do you have uh, everything you need? I think so. Okay. Um, we should probably check, but I think I do have everything I need. Uh, let me just like place my phone down and uh, we can do it this like the proper way. <laughs> Hold on. Go. All right, I'm gonna go through everything you need and let me know if you got it. Brandy. Brandy, check. We're gonna need Angostura bitters, and that's kind of specifically Angostura bitters. That's just the best one you need. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, sugar, I like to use simple, so just simple syrup is good. Yep, got it. Then you're gonna want uh, orange. Orange. Cocktail cherry. Cocktail cherry. And we're gonna want some ice. So you can use cubes. I like crushed ice. Got it. And then a topper or a wash. So if you want your cocktail sweet, then you want something like 7-Up, uh, lemon lime soda. If you want sour, then you want a grapefruit soda. Or if you're like me, just soda water. Soda will be, it's in the fridge. That'll be about it. It's really quite simple. I have everything I need. So let's make a Wisconsin old fashioned. All right, I'm gonna do it with you. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so you you are really like ready to do it. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm serious. All right. We're going to start with the orange. I'm going to cut a nice thick wheel. Like that. Yeah. Good. Got it. And then we can cut that in half and in half again. So we want I just want two quarters. Okay. And then just drop that right into the glass. There. Good. Yeah. Now we can add one cocktail cherry. Do you use the juice, like the syrup as well, or just the cherry? Uh, you sure can. I, I will get like a little bit of the juice, but I like the sweetness from the syrup. So I just drop in the cherry. That's it. A lot of people use the juice though. That's good too, all right? Then one quarter of an ounce of the simple. Yep. And four healthy dashes of Angostura bitters. I like that you've got the fancy shaker little dasher bottle. Me, I just go straight from the jug. <laughs> But it makes for smaller dashes, so I made eight. Good, yes. I've got, like, look how much I got in there. This is just, I, I really go heavy on the Ango. Yeah, it smells good. It does. All right. Now we can muddle, but don't muddle the rind. That's just going to add more bitterness. We got plenty of bitters in there. So we can make, like, a, a paste. And if you use, like, just regular cane sugar, that works really well here because it'll break it up, but I like the simple just because it incorporates so nicely. 
and then two ounces of brandy right on top. I have a uh, Spanish brandy. Does it make a difference what kind of brandy you use? You've got a fancier version than I do. This is uh, really, it, it doesn't matter, but I associate this drink with a light California brandy. I don't know if you can get it up in Canada, uh, Corbel, but I think Spanish brandy is gonna be beautiful. We can add our ice, but leave a, a little room on the top because we're gonna add that topper. I always make a mess when I do this. It's worth it. I like to uh, give it a little stir just to lift the fruit up into the drink. And honestly, this is pretty much ready. So you could have it with no wash and it's really good, but I like to add a little something sparkling just to give it a little liveliness, but just a small amount because we don't want to dilute this too much. So, gonna grab my soda water and just a splash. Stir it back again? Uh, nope, I, I actually wouldn't stir it. I would add a little bit more crushed ice on top. More crushed ice. And then garnish. I like to use the other half of the orange wheel that I cut earlier. And then add a cherry to it. But this drink, if people will have it with olives, people will have it with pickled Brussels sprouts, pickled mushrooms. It's pretty, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no wrong answer. Yeah, it's really, I don't wanna say crazy because it's actually quite good. Do you think I do you think I succeeded? Does it look good? It looks beautiful. Yeah. I I think you did great. I just hope that you like it. Thank you, sir. Well, cheers. Cheers to you, John, please. Oh man, that's good. Yeah. Pretty tasty, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's uh quite different than your standard old fashioned really different. The brandy has very strong, um, like burnt caramel taste, probably from the uh, aging notes. I don't know if it's the same with the, um, the California brandy, but this particular one really has that like burnt sugar cane taste. Go it goes really well with the Ango. And I was a little afraid it would be like very sweet, which, which is not my taste usually. I have a pretty dry palate, but I really like it. Yeah, some people like this drink exceptionally sweet. They'll just load up the seven up on top of it. But I feel like with the crushed ice, it like thins it out and I like a heavy hand of bitters so it doesn't get too sweet. That's, that's what I prefer. Well, I'm really glad you show me your way because that's gonna be my way from now on and I really love it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, just, I just like that Somebody in Canada is drinking a Wisconsin Old Fashioned. <laughs> you know, at the bar, I get actually not a lot, but sometimes I get a request for something called the mid, uh, mid-century Old Fashioned. Basically the same thing, like with the model orange and uh, cherry, but with bourbon instead. Since I really love like regular Old Fashioned, when I want to have from now on something with model fruit, I will go for brandy for sure. Excellent. Then I've done my part, jean Felix. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing this with me. I think we should do that maybe some of the time. Maybe I could show you something that you've never done before. There's an idea. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to take you up on that offer. All right, I'm waiting for your call. All right, excellent. Thank you. And uh, that means uh, we're going to see you very soon. OK, good. Yes. Cheers, jean Felix. Cheers. See you soon. Bye. 
All right, so that's it for me today, guys. I really hope you're gonna enjoy this video, the cocktail as well, obviously. And if you wanna know more about the history of the Wisconsin Old Fashioned, Enders made a video about it, and it relates some very interesting historical facts about the drink. So head up to his channel, you will not regret it. So once again, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.